ladies and gentlemen, we are so overwhelmed and we want to thank all of you very, very immensely. You are all very, very important to us. I want to pay glowing tribute to those who have come from afar. You are all very, very important to us. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Emmanuel and Jennifer once again for making it a great day to us. I am grateful that my daughter is in good hands. I, I thank I thank the Amaya's family here today, the Ndamukans and their friends all over the world. I know that I did not miss the place to give my daughter. And equally, you know, Emma has been like a son to me from the beginning. So they are both of my children. So the love that they have, I pray that it will continue like that till them do their part. <laughs> I, I am not really a speech person, you know, I am so full of happiness that I don't even know what to say, but I'm just happy. Thank you all for coming. Let's make this day a very beautiful one. I would like to take this floor to say some few words to my little sister, the one whom I've loved, I've cared, I've carried since she was born. She's so pretty, tender. She's generous, she's kind, she's always joyful. At the same time, her heart is always very tender. Tonight is a very special day for you, Jennifer. It's a night that we honor your great resilience to grow up to be the girl that you are today. I will not mention all of your good things tonight without sharing some of the difficult time that I spent with you. When you follow me up, lock my door, hide my shoes. I don't want me to go out because you want me to be at home and share the moment and laughter with you at the time that we spent together at home. I will not miss this opportunity as well to share that very moment where you will step behind me when you are running away from danger and say, big brother, I need to hide now. And also that very moment when you come into my arms and you cry and he said, life is so good, but sometimes can be very challenging. You are very precious. Letting you into the hands of Emmanuel is the best thing that we could ever think for. And this day is a very great day for you because you have longed to ever wish for this day to come in your life. And indeed, the day is today. Thank you very much. Let's clap our hands together for the I give you this ring as a sign of the renewal of our marriage. As a sign of the renewal of our marriage. In thanksgiving and in love. In thanksgiving and in love. I offer you all that I am. I offer you all that I am. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I give you this ring. As a sign of the renewal of our marriage. In thanksgiving and in love. I offer you, Jennifer, all that I am. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jennifer, you the queen you've always been. Smile, tenderness, laid back, you know, you smooth everything Amar is. He's brash, perfectionist, wants things to go right, and you know he's always gonna be there for you. 
He loves you so much. Loves you dearly. And he's the best man, best friend, best brother, best everything of mine, true inspiration of mine I've ever known. So I wish you guys well. I wish you guys love. I wish you guys happiness. Thank you all for coming. Thanks. Bye. I'm proud of you both. We have come through a lot together. We've gone through holidays together. This couple here managed to persuade us, Jeffrey and I, to start a family. And a little bride today, believe me or not, is a product of our discussion. Thank you. That's to show you that you surround yourself with people who help you grow, who challenge you, and you are one of those. This couple haven't had it smooth all the way. This is not a fairy tale. They have gone through trials, they've gone through tribulations, they've had problems between them. But one beautiful thing, they came out stronger. They loved each other more. They understood each other. That meant that the fire that burns them made them refine them and refine your love. And you should take this along with you. That no matter the tribulation, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that light is a new beginning for you to express this to each other, to be yourselves with each other. Everyone in here is here to celebrate you and is very proud of you. You've got two beautiful children and we are waiting for the third. So, congratulations to you both. I wish you a happy married life and we are all here to support and love you along the way. Love you both. Thank you very much, Efundem, Mrs. Efundem, maid of honor.